Okay, this next video is talking about different ways to use the drumming Bible, also known as stick control. Now, page five is more than enough to practice for the rest of your life. There's the basic way, then there's some other ideas you can do with it. First one, using the rhythms as comping between your snare drum and bass drum working on some jazz stuff. So number one is basically just and you play jazz time. Number two, starting with the left. Three, double strokes, starting with the right. Four, starting with the left. Uh, paradiddles. Um, inverted paradiddles. You get the basic idea of that. Just go through, even if you only work on page five, your jazz independence will increase greatly. Um, another thing you can do is take some exercises, uh, like what I did. I wrote out all the exercises on page five on individual index cards. Then what you do is you shuffle them up and grab two, play one with your hands and one with your feet. Now I wrote down some of the exercises on a piece of paper, some of the ones that I pulled out and liked, and it gives you uh, exercises similar to in uh, Marco Miniman, Miniman's Extreme Interdependence book. So like. One of the first ones I got together is really easy. It's just in your feet, go. So. Another one is uh, your hands doing a paradiddle with the diddle in the middle. doing a backwards paradiddle. You put that together, It's the same on your hands and a straight paradiddle on your feet. So. so that's just a couple ideas to get you started. Um, I highly suggest the uh, using index cards idea. I lost mine, so I have to make new ones. But um, because you can get a more random outcome of what you're going to put together, it's great to work on your sight reading in a way. Uh, test your coordination. Now, none of these exercises are really meant to be played as a drum beat in a band, but they help you get all your limbs so they know how to cooperate with each other and whatever pops into your mind it will be easier to execute without thinking too much. Um, some other things you can do with stick control is the obvious thing of practicing with just your feet. 
So, Mike will take number five, a paradiddle. Seven, backwards paradiddle. And, you know, along those lines. Um, another thing, practicing between right would be your foot, left would be your right hand on the floor tom or snare drum, and you would practice it that way. Like, okay, we'll do number... Uh, 16, which is and then practice your left side only, just hat and snare, or hat with your feet, drum, or bass drum if you have a double pedal. Or both. Um, you could also do left foot, right hand, left hand, right foot, both hands and both feet together. So all the rights would be flaps, uh, flat flaps, and hands. So. That's just a few ideas how to use the drumming Bible to uh, enhance your playing ability and showing how you can use it for pretty much anything. And that's it.